It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's Neil Brenson and Nick Clancy here at Jellybean HQ. And Neil, I don't know if you're detecting it, but there's a terrific smell of yeast in the air. And it's not because we're expecting any elderly relatives. Not yet, at least. No, it's because we're examining the Christmas sandwich market. And we've got Neil here on hand to give us the insight and facts. Neil. So let me give you a few top facts about the sandwich market. They very much are Britain's favorite food. They're kind of a big deal. Well, a very big deal. We buy four billion sandwiches in retail and catering every year. We spent eight billion pounds on them. Subway is where we buy the most sandwiches in terms of value, but Tesco still sells the most in terms of volume, outselling Subway by several million. So let's get on with it. Let's look at this year's Christmas crop. We've taken eight of our favorite sandwiches from across the high street. We're going to be scoring them out of 20 for each one and looking at four key criteria, that being innovation, value for money, festive feel, and also taste, all important. So if you're heading to Boots this uh, festive period to get one of their meal deals, then Clearly you're going to switch in a Christmas uh, sandwich. There's a few available. We looked at the turkey, bacon and stuffing. A classic, a traditional, pretty safe, middle of the road, can't really go too far wrong. And perhaps that was its secret. Good taste. They obviously listened to my feedback from last year and have made it less dry than it was. So it's a very good taste, very moist. It looks festive. Some festive fun messaging in there, which is great. But of course it is that meal deal that I think is going to be a winner for it. It's famous for it, so a really good price point. So next we popped to Costa, we picked up our gingerbread latte, and at the same time we bought our turkey and Emmental Shimmer Brioche Bun. Now Costa have gone all out with the festive packaging. Top marks, really good. Score of five for packaging. So the bun has this glitter glaze, um, which is quite inspired. Looks amazing, but it falls down massively on taste. So, sorry Costa, but you can't polish a turd, but clearly you can roll it in glitter. Stick with the gingerbread lattes. So, I looked at Eats Roast in a Yorkshire Pudding Wrap. Now this is a big eat. Pitch the scene. It's the morning after a big Christmas party. You've embarrassed yourself yet again, as I have many, many times. You're looking for something substantial and delicious before you can go back to your lodgings and relax and be hungover. This, I feel, is perfect. If it was a lunchtime treat, it's too much. You'd be asleep at your desk by four. But as a hangover food, it's absolutely delicious. The filling is lovely, it's not too much uh, from a kind of salt point of view. The Yorkshire pudding, a little bit greasy, hence why I say you couldn't really eat it at lunchtime. But we've given it a really, really high score. I have it here. Festive feel, it wasn't that high. Taste, top marks. Innovation, 4.5. The Yorkshire pudding wrap is something we're seeing a lot nowadays. Great stuff. Value for money, it was 4 99 but you could eat that for dinner. And who would turn down a dinner for 4 .99? Not me. Okay, so next we sampled uh, Greg's Pigs Under Blankets. A baguette, a really big baguette. Again, this would be brilliant for that post-Christmas uh, party hangover. It's gonna be another big eat. Great value, three quid, which is what you expect from Greg's. Actually really good, strong, festive packaging. The flavour combo, pigs under blankets, yeah, it's quite traditional, it's a fail safe, so a good effort. 13.5 out of 20. Well done, Greg's. Eric and Ernie, orange and cinnamon, white wine and a fag. Christmas has brought us some amazing pairings, but none better than Brie and Grape, and that's what I tried in this M&S sandwich. A classic combination 
and absolutely delicious. The kings and queens of sandwiches have delivered yet again. They've kept it simple, and uh, on that basis, uh, we gave them a five for festive feel. Cheese is nothing new, but it's uh, tried and tested, and it, this one was particularly delicious. And that's why we gave it four for taste, two for innovation, reasonably low because they've, you know, they're not trying to reinvent the wheel, but why should you when you've got such a delicious combination? Value for money, four. It's Marks and Spencer's, it's reassuringly expensive, it was delicious. I tried Pret's very merry Christmas lunch, the first of our vegan sandwiches. Veganism is absolutely exploding in the market at the moment, 300% increase on vegan diets in the last 10 years I think. Um, I wanted to bring you on, in, in, on this one Neil because um, my expectations were quite high of this because I'm kind of open to that kind of stuff. Yours were reasonably low but you were actually quite happy with it. I was mm, reasonably disappointed. So actually we met in the middle on this one. Uh, festive feel, there's a charity element to it so 3.5, it's, it's the season of giving after all. Taste, 3, very sweet, too much going on. Uh, innovation, 4 because it's veganism and it is what it is. Uh, value for money, it's at the higher end, but it is pret, so uh, we gave that a 3. So actually, all in all, uh, 13 and a half out of 20. Not too bad. So next up we had Sainsbury's. Big beef. A big claim, a big bold Christmas offer. Could it beat the snow globe from Sainsbury's last year? Not really sure it could. Good attempt, but sadly lacking in festiveness. Looked more like a McDonald's takeaway box. Um, innovation, mm, no, not really. Rare beef, really nice, really lovely. But score, 11.5 out of 20. I looked at Waitrose's duck with bitter orange and juniper berries. It's in a wrap. It looked delicious. Innovative flavours. Uh, but one bite and I was confused. It's the Brexit of sandwiches. I was confused. There was polar flavours working against each other, nothing really working. Everyone's kind of confused as soon as they take a bite. It's something I don't want to remain in me, and I'm certainly not looking forward to when it leaves. We've cogitated, we've ruminated, and we've got our final three. So, in third position, Neil. It's Boots with their turkey, bacon and stuffing sandwich, 14 out of 20. Congratulations to the guys and girls at Boots there. And Neil, please give us our second place. It's M&S with their brie and grape, 15 out of 20. Fantastic stuff. That leaves us only to announce the winner, which is, please Neil. And drumroll, it is Eats Roast Dinner in a Yorkshire Pudding Wrap, of course. 15 and a half out of 20, a narrow winner, but what stood out was the innovation and of course the taste. Fantastic result. Great stuff. We're bloated, but we're merry. We're off to a Christmas party, Neil and I now, and uh, we wish you all the uh, best of the year. Thanks so much for listening to our Christmas sandwich vlog. Please try the sandwiches for yourself and do tweet us with your thoughts. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>